Hello, 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 fans, friends, followers. Thank you for stopping by, stepping in, sticking around. This is Daddy Demon81, as you know me on YouTube. Please like, subscribe, and follow for more video content. I'll be release, continuing to release videos in the future. I will be starting a new server, a new channel of Raid Shadow Legends, a game I've been playing for a little over three years, or about two years. Hello, 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 fans, friends, followers. Thank you for stopping by, stepping in, sticking around. I'll be doing a video today on tips and tricks for um, farming. So I'll be kind of showing you how I do my farming and other techniques I know of, but I don't necessarily like. Uh, I know of three ways you can farm. And uh, the, all three ways are slightly different. And uh, one or two of them might be similar to each other, just slightly changed. So uh, without further ado, uh, so I'm going to go into chipmunk mode and just do a voiceover and uh, speed through most of this. Uh, this is multiple uh, repeats. I was showing my clan here uh, before proceeding on. Uh, I do believe we are full, so uh, anyway. Uh, mainly the way I farm on my main account is a mix of using brews as well as a few eating as few champs as possible. So I show this in my um, I show my inventory, show my troops. Uh, you see they only have one uh, single star. So I was showing different ways that you can acquire extras uh, if you're just looking for uh, one champ instead of necessarily summoning them so you'll see that um, at the moment you can't uh, I was explaining you can't uh, eat a higher rank champ with a lower champ who's maxed and then I was explaining that uh, ones get upgraded and turn into twos twos can eat the new ones uh, and then threes can eat the new twos and fours can eat the new threes and so on and so on every rank that's max will upgrade to the next rank so I was basically explaining all that and uh, basically I try to upgrade most of the champs that I have and get them uh, their max levels so there you see 20 of 2 and then for the th rank 3's you see 30 of 3's and then so on and so on So as I continue on, to, um, trying to figure out what else I'm trying to explain right now. The farming technique, there's different ways you can do it. People uh, mainly will eat a bunch of champs and, and other people will just use a bunch of brews and silver. And uh, like I said, I kind of blend in a little bit of both and then grind the experience. And most importantly to me for farming is knowing how I mark them or how I use them. So any level one or a number one, uh, the Roman numeral one, to me it's just food. And and that's how I remember who's who. Uh, I would like to think that this is visible in all areas, but it's not technically, but it does help where it's needed the most. And then uh, just be, I, sometimes I... Uh, explain here and there about different uh, champ abilities and why I think a grinder was good or bad. I'm not necessarily talking about specific champs at the moment. That's why I'm fast forwarding through all this. So as I continue on, I'm uh, looking through um, and explaining uh, the different amounts. Uh, you need champs the uh, equal to the level of rank. Uh, everybody probably knows that, so if you're going to rank up a 4 star, you need 4 champs to eat. If you're going to rank up a 3 star, you need 3 stick champs to eat. So on and so on. So I was also explaining that in the difference between the two, the different ranks. And usually when you're in the upgrade rank inside the uh, tavern here, uh, it's easy to find out who needs to be upgraded with the red dots, so a lot of times it makes it easier to scroll through real quick. And I think I go into the feeding now. Oh, so this is where I was just talking about the solo 
single star by himself and then I'll show different ways you can get them and you can get uh, champs in the market and it's random but if you have a champ in the market and specifically need that quality I think it's better to get them in the market they might be slightly overpriced but um, it, I guess it's to help guarantee that that's the champ you want if they're not available in the market you'll also show that you can get them in the inbox where your prizes go to a lot of uh, overflow will go to the inbox and then of course uh, you can summon them as a shard so here I'm looking at the market you only got the war boy always buy the mystery shards and the reason why is more mystery shards you get more chances you have I believe of getting a blue uh, there have been times I've gotten five or six blues in, in a month so I think it's useful to buy every green shard you can every time it's visible so now I go back in uh, rank one eating uh, le one level one so, some, so at the rank ones you only need 50 50 at rank twos you need two uh, two thirds of them level one and then a third of them level 10 I mean 20 max and then so on and then you do have chickens and I don't use all the chickens just because I've got a rank 3 I want to level up and I've got three or more chickens I'm not going to use all three chickens on one champ I do one per champ every time I'm upgrading and that helps spread out the use of the chickens and of course you get chickens in your clan versus clan so I hope to get enough chickens every time that I could try to make them last that never is the case but eventually when the chickens run out then you can only eat the champions so uh, this is where it's useful to know what the numbers are the number ones so I'm, I'm selecting only the number ones or those I know should be number one I think I explained a few times there's sometimes they're not marked or you might find one that's marked and the others that are not marked so I, I was explaining the difference between those two and then at the higher levels um, a lot of times it, you have to decide what's more important especially with the resources being so minimal and that so difficult to get all the champ enough champs I was hoping that I would have had enough uh, to feed Kurgo but I didn't so to speed through this I do get tree filler fed so I was got one more five star and notice how many it took finally to get to that point you stick around at the end once I've explained uh, the other uh, ways of farming uh, towards the end of the video there is uh, uh, like a personal thing of notes I, I kind of drew out some notes on pay on a tablet at one point did a screenshot and saved it as a picture so I used that as a reference in the beginning so I knew how many champs were needed for each champ if you only uh, grind them all so anytime along the way anytime along this video that was a nice uh, pull right there right up anytime along this video any number of champs I mentioned uh, you could supplant that number by replacing it with the champ that's a, a new summon so if you summon a three star uh, rare then you don't have to and you use that as food you don't need the food to get to uh, another champ to the three star if that makes sense that will make sense uh, towards the end of the video blood painters pretty good good for early I guess so I was getting it to three I needed and then I was gonna spend ten and ten And I was showing the filter, so a lot of times if you want to get all the other champs out of the way, and you only want to worry about the food champs, 
use the filter and just put two and three on so you have less on the screen. And then now I was going through again marking them. Number one for food. I use number two for champ I'm keeping and likely going to use sooner or later. And number three is champs I'm keeping but I'm not using. Good example of those would be anybody for fusion uh, or anybody that's a double duplicate or double and they're being saved to keep in their faction guardian sometimes I'll pull faction guardian champs and eat them as food if I need it if I'm trying to rush uh, a level but I usually don't do that greens are good for early players if you're watching this and uh, you're just joining this channel because it is intended to show newer players better uh, different ways of farming and techniques for grinding if that's you i thank you again for stopping by stepping in sticking around uh, greens are good at your level don't necessarily throw out all the greens out but once you get enough greens once you've got a, a, at least two duplicates of a green you can't use them in faction gardens but once you got one or two you can either eat each other you can have the greens eat each other for experience um, not experience, but to level their skills, or you can use them to level up their experience. And I was explaining different ways of um, using the different ideas of using brimstone on the shields you get a lot of money for so if you're looking for silver grind in 12-3 at any difficulty and then you'll get more money from them by helping sell the shields as well as the money gained from the grind and then if you're looking more or less from experience you can also grind the boss level 12-7 So now that I've got plenty of gray, uh, remember I went through, I think I summoned two on T or 30 plus. Actually the plus was the three rares on the side. Uh, so now I'm grinding, I'm using one each of a brew, the common brew and then an off brew. Common brew would be whatever brew matches the affinity of the champ. And so I'm dividing the commons in half, the number ones, single stars, dividing that in half. So I believe, if I recall correctly, I needed 14 champs to level up to 10. So I'm just trying to glance at it, so I'm moving so fast. I think I did 5, 5, and 6. It's either 14 or 16. I think it's, I think it's 5, 5, and 6, so 16. Um, could be... But I try to spread it out so that way I'm not using all the brews of one color. That's why if, if you look up top, I've got uh, 210, 213, and 207, I think, or 9, whatever it was, of the different uh, brew colors. So now that those 10s are maxed out, the you can see I'm going through eating ten, uh, one level 10, eating a level 1. And so out of all those, I think it was 26 or 28. Um, I got 12 or 13, 14 maybe, um, level 2's maxed, and now they are level, uh, rank 2's, level 1's, so then the rank 2's are already sitting by waiting, and I grind this almost every day, so I'm always adding new champs to the feed, that's why I kind of had to start at one point or another, and then uh, it, you'll see full circle by the end, but the champs that are already there have been grinded in the past so that's why that they, they're already available um, usually I don't put a level one in without knowing for certain I know I want to eat them but usually if I'm going to grind them I'll start them with brews push them about level 10 or level 20 actually I push them about halfway whatever the rank is so rank 3 would go to about 14 or 15. I don't know why I uh, sometimes I just throw them in there if I can't if I don't have any that are already leveled up part way. 
or throw them in there from level one. But if you throw them in there from level one, it's taking a lot that much longer to get from level one just to get to level 14 by grinding the experience. So that's why I use brews to at least go part way. And that's why coming in here, you don't see the number of marks. The um, problem with that is because you don't see the numbers marked, you just kind of have to go off of memory. So a lot of times I look for anybody who's higher than level one. And I'll grind them through. So as I quickly run through this, um, the only reason I show this just to show you the um, setup and the usage of the grind in the campaign. That's why I only put 20. Um, that way you can see how far in 20 battles, how far the experience goes for them. And usually you use a champ that you know can go through uh, the brimstone without trouble. I probably go 20 or 30 battles here, and I, I don't have any trouble with Rhonda by herself uh, handling the fight. Every now and then, Rhonda might lose, uh, but it's because she focuses on the minions first. So it depends on if she gets to the boss wave and she decides to attack the minions with their single strikes. If she gets to the boss wave and she's already able to use the uh, her nuke, then she usually c clears out the minions and then the boss by himself. If I'm sitting at the screen while I'm farming and I'm monitoring the screen, then I'll use my mouse and I'll try to target the boss. I think I might show that here shortly. I think I have been ready. I'm not seeing... No, I did it there, but... If you see the red crosshairs show up on the boss, it's because I was targeting the boss. But everything's moving so fast. I'm just trying to... Right there, I targeted the boss. But then I was using the Fury wave, wave anyways, her Rage Fury, so t you can see it there. But if I target the boss and she uses her Lockdown instead, she'll kill the boss first and you can leave the minions off to the side and not even touch them. And you'll still win the wave uh, without having to attack the minions. So, it'll go through, because you set up in the auto, there was a boss kill right there, a single shot boss kill. It'll go through and it will auto replace those who you set up, if you noticed how I set it up in the um, beginning of the uh, wave, the grind, setting up the multi-battles. Uh, if you're not sure how to do that, I'll show that towards the end of the video, I'll do a more detailed explanation on how to set up the multi-battles. But uh, when you set up the multi-battles and you select an extra champs, all the extra champs you selected will go, will get grind through and replace those that are maxed. So these champs that are currently with her, they're gaining their experience every fight. And then at the end of each fight, once they're maxed out, they'll get automatically replaced. And that's what the multi-battles do, at least for grinding. You can set up multi-battles to do different things depending on the content you're in. That one didn't ki uh, kill the boss in a single strike. Every now and then, because of RNG, you might leave the boss with one health point or something like that. So then it needs uh, Rhonda to get one more turn. So. so as you can see there, the battle coming to an end. It's at 17 of 20. Just know it's best to grind Brimstone, but you can grind other levels too, other chapters of the campaign. You're just not going to get as much experience or silver as you are from Brimstone. But there's other reasons to grind as well, as if you're looking for specific gear that you can get from the campaign map. But most of the gear, if not all the gear from the campaign, is also found in some of the dungeons. You'll find premium quality gear in the dungeons, meaning uh, epic as well as legendary quality. Here in Brimstone, you'll likely just find, uh, if you're lucky, rares. Usually it'll be uncommons or common gear. So it's best mainly if you're just grinding to just grind uh, the experience. So as it continues, after the battle, you can see a few champs uh, gain their max. Um, uh, they were high champs. So the higher the champs, the harder it is to gain the experience because they require more experience per level at higher ranks. So uh, there's it, it makes it more difficult, but 
that was with a bunch of high champs and, and that's why it was very much less experience there is a way to see the overall experience at the very top of the screen and that will always display the accurate number of how much experience total is being gained it just it depends on how it's distributed so now I'm just post a battle I'm just going through showing you what you do afterwards when you got max champs you got low champs take the max champs and you eat them and then uh, so basically you're just kind of getting a glimpse of uh, the full circle before and after the grind so as I continue on with the voice that I had from the video I'm on my mid account that one dude I've had this account uh, about four months shy of my main account so I've had this account about a year and maybe a month or two but so 12 to 14 months give or take I was absent just as long or a little bit longer from this account than I was my main account so uh, I'm not as far along but I'm a lot farther along than my newest account which I will show here shortly so so it's just basically explaining the change from the um, the higher account to now the mid account. So now I'm going to show different way of using uh, all champs or one brew and then champs. The brew helps it get halfway, so you're not eating as many champs. Pay attention that I'm spending, f I'm eating four level ones for one champ. So the one champ is starting off at level one and then um, eats four other level ones and then he's ranked 10, level 10 and then he eats one more to rank up. So this is something I've seen on other YouTube videos. I don't necessarily like the idea. I think you're eating too many champs to do this. But this is why I was demonstrating it so you can compare the numbers. So I backed out because I didn't want to necessarily use the red or I was showing use some brews to get halfway and then maybe eat a champ if you want to eat a champ or, or go grind the, the remaining difference with um, experience in the grind. So right there I was basically going most of the way with the brew and then two more, three more champs to eat. Uh, push the, the hunger to level 20. So now hunger is level a uh, rank 3. So I think I go. So I'll go find another 2 and I'll eat a couple rank 1s. So obviously they can't eat until they are max 20. So I think what I was going to show is instead of upgrading the rank, you can eat champs to level them up as well. So, trying to remember what I was doing. So now I'm going through and I'm going to summon 30 of them on my mid. And then that way I have 30 more uh, or something up to close to 30, depending on how many greens I get to work with as far as eating champs to cover the gap. So again, you got a level one eating six champs. It's not going to get all the way. So now you start with a brew, get you halfway, and then watch it all eat four champs. I think without the brew, any no brew whatsoever, I think you have to eat 10 level 1s for the level 1 to get to level 10. I should have played with that numbers, but I didn't want to waste all that. So, notice there's 4 champs that I'm going to eat. 1 brew, 4 champs. Level 10. So you've got the one that's leveling up, he's the, the one reaching level 10. you got four more that are being consumed by him, so I was pointing out that there was five. And then starting off with the affinity brew, 
the brew that's the matching affinity, you get 18,000 versus the brew that's not matching affinity. I was pointing out that it's 12,000. So... So, uh, again, you're eating four or five champs per champ. You're consuming them to get to level 10, and that's not even ranking up yet. So, once they get to two, then you need another two that's already gotten there. So, eventually, I'll point out that it took one two who's already eaten or consumed five champs to get to that, that two. And then if you rank up that 2 to level 20, then it's going to take another 8 or 10 champs, like 11 champs, I believe. I think it takes 11 level 1 rank 2 just to rank to level up that 2 to 20. And then it's going to take another um, 2 champs to rank up. So those 2 champs had to get there in the first place which means it took them five each. So I was explaining those different numbers. So the difference is you need, th according to the person who's doing this kind of grinding, you need champs to eat champs to for the experience, and then you also need champs to eat champs for the upgrading. A and that's, to me, that's what uh, seems pointless. Uh, other people are okay with eating or consuming all the commons. You go through so many commons. I, I get the idea you go through a lot of commons, but those commons can also provide uh, two-star food as well. So me personally, I prefer to only eat them when they're ranking up and then grind the experience or use potions or brews to get them at least started. So that's kind of what I was showing and explaining all that. And again, of course, as I mentioned before, anytime you have champs at higher ranks uh, that s are summoned, they can fill in so they el eliminate the need. So that level 1, I mean the level 20 2 star to eat 2 level 1 2 stars needed 30 just to get to this point right here. And that's just 1. So then you need 30 more, then you need 30 more, and then you need 30 more. Where's that 30 more? Oh. So hold on. I'll count this out for you. Let me fill this up real quick. 30, 30, 30. 30, 30, 30. And you still needed 30 to get him to level rank 3 plus he needed to rank up to level 30. Does that make sense? Now, me personally, that's just, you're eating, that's 120 champs just to make this level three go up to, let me double check, I wanna eat these guys. Yeah, they're fine. Excuse me, sorry about that. Took 120 champs just to make this guy right here. Remember that. Four star, level one, 120 champs. So basically I'll clarify, uh, it's 120 champs at level one. And as I mentioned in the text there on screen, you can supplant any of those champs along the way for higher uh, ranks. If they start off, because greens will always start off at level rank two and blues will always start off at rank 3 and of course purple will always start off at rank 4 so those will help at least supplant some of the food you don't have to worry about feeding them and there's a way to do it with only brews too and I'll show that here in a moment and then I'll come back to my original way and close out the video as we continue on uh, we are going to show one more demonstration of farming, uh, another uh, strategy I've seen online. And uh, again, we are now back on my mini account, the one that I did my first video on, which this should be following my first video. 
I've uh, done a few farming. I haven't done much progress. I'm still um, waiting on chapter to continue on chapter five. Uh, and I haven't done any dungeons yet. So this account could have progressed a lot more, but because I played three different accounts and I'm trying to make videos in between and uh, I'll probably continue playing other games. I actually just got, and I know I mentioned this in my last video, it is now 10th of January, so this that's the day I'm recording this. Hopefully I get this out within a couple days. On the 10th of January, I actually noticed I had the cord that I mentioned for my Xbox came in the mail. So hopefully I can start getting back on the Xbox here soon. So my attention might be divided, but I really enjoy my time on Raid, and I enjoy making videos for you guys. And I've noticed I've gotten a huge turnout on a lot of videos on my first video. So I'm going to try to continue making videos. I'd like you guys to possibly like and subscribe to my YouTube. Help me lift up my status so Plarium can see that I am content creator material. And that if they lift that up to me, then I can start getting uh, freebies out, promotions out to you guys. And start making videos that uh, you see other content creators. Uh, hopefully I bring a different flavor. I don't want to copy anybody else. I'd like to do things my way, but uh, we'll see how things turn out. Anyway, as we continue on, as I mentioned, we're going to continue the farming procedure. And I just wanted to show you another demonstration of using brews only and uh, how much that would take. So we've got a couple champs here that have already kind of prepared. And... If the champ wanted to level up to or rank up, it needs to eat the other champ. So that's easy enough, and I don't think we need bruise for that. Actually, you can't rank up with bruise, you can only level up with bruise. So we'll get these two out of the way. And there's not another one to eat. We'll go grab one real quick, see if there's one in the store. Still don't have one in the store. I do got a couple shards. You always grab these green shards. You see any extra shards. Just because I grabbed one, completed my quest, I'm going to go grab the other one too. Because I go through a lot of shards and I actually hit, I hang on. Some people see my account and probably think I hang on or I, I hoard. Uh, and this is early account. I've already almost got 100. I probably had more than 100 already. Um, some of them obviously consumed. So now that I got, oh wait, back here, I need, I got sidetracked, I need two gray, so those last two can eat, that's one gray, no, and give me a gray, and a gray. See, I only had one. And these are just getting the few out of the way. Um, wait for it. My mistake will be noticed. So continue on here in just a moment. Trying to... Where's the other level 10? <laughs> did I just eat the wrong one? Nope. Oh, I have to go back and look. I think I just ate the wrong one. Did I just eat the wrong one? Nope. I think I just ate the wrong one. I had two different level 10s, didn't I? Oh. Man, all right. Yes, well, that was me talking. Then you got this guy sitting all by himself, and I didn't. Know I don't have a level ten for him to eat. Dang it! All right. Well, let's just demonstrate what I was going to demonstrate using him. Simple enough. Two brews. Again, as I demonstrated before, um, that is one brew to go one level. I, I mean, I could do an off brew, still gonna go one level. So, if you're in a hurry and you want to get champs out of the way, simple enough to get the level ones. It starts to get pricey when it's higher levels. And I'll worry about him later. So, Hellhound now is a rank two. We want to get him up to full. Five brews. So, five brews get him to level 20. If I just dropped one brew off, one brew for one level. Again. To me, um, 
me personally, if I was to use brews, I'd kind of use a hybrid brew and then grind. So I'd get the brew almost to the max and then let the experience in the uh, campaign grind that last, uh, what is that, 10,000 minus 4, so that's about 6,000 experience right there. This brew will get 18,000, I believe. Uh, this brew is worth 18, one brew is worth 18. If you go down, one brew is worth 18,750. And if I went to an off brew, it's 12,500. So, again, we're just going to do it right now, easily. But to me, that last brew, wasting one brew on just four or 5,000 experience tops, it's better to go grind that champ in from 19 to 20 in the campaign. Uh, we'll do one more. Wait. Oh, that. So he's at level 20. And then if I did all of them like that, imagine all the brews that would have taken. Now that he's level 20, we'll have him eat two of his counterparts. Now if I wanted to rank up a level, a rank 3. So I've got one rank 3 at max. Let's see, it might make me go bankrupt by the time I do that, but we'll do it anyway. We'll do it anyway. I'll get it back eventually. So he's rank 3, level 1. 11 brews would get to level 30. 11 of those brews, I'd have 4 left. It's going to suck. Actually, I don't want to do that. I'm going to do a green instead. I'm trying to go for the higher amount. So I only have 15 here. If I do a green, I have 29. It would at least put the green down close to around the same level so let's go find a green spirit affinity rank 3 level 1 rank 3 level 1 anytime you want to if you're way down at this list because you just grab somebody and you want to quick quick flip up there. instead dragging 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 like this and that's an easy drag I only have 20 or 30 I only have 40 max no no 50 max on this uh, champ in this account if I was way down here and I wanted to jump up just hit that button twice when you hit that button twice, it puts you to the top. And then, to me, that's an easier jump up to the top. So, max brews. 11 brews to get to level 30. I don't usually spend that much. To me, that's a lot of use of brews. Because you'll burn through these brews real easily. It'll take you a couple champs. And then suddenly, you're out of brews. And then, what are you going to do? You're going to resort to eating so many champs that I just showed you, which is also a mistake. And then, that's why we're going to go to my hybrid, how I like to farm. Uh, so, that was level three. I don't even know if we're going to do level four. I will. Stick around. You'll see me get KO up. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. It took a minute for me to calculate. Figure out. Do I have... I might be able to get KO up. Let's see if we get KO up real quick. Um, this is me deciding no, to sniper well, and uh, commander or... I suppose you could be food. They get to a point where I don't find them useful anymore. And I'm still not working on Sun Wukong. Kong. Uh, as I've mentioned before, my priority is getting KO to max. When I get KO to max, maybe I'll work on Sun Wukong. Kong. Or if I find myself in an event where I need massive experience, K uh, Sun Wukong will give me a lot of experience points because he's a legendary compared to farming uh, a bunch of champs. Sun Wukong will give me just as much experience from in that same gap. So anyway, so we are going to try to do... So I basically speed through the rest of this, uh, you kind of got the gist of the idea, just let you see it in action. Um, I eventually did start farming Sun Wukong as well, uh, only because I was in, I'm trying to work the uh, tournament, but I didn't get enough anyways. But uh, I was just explaining, uh, basically I was explaining that if you use champs along the way that are already higher qualities, you don't have to necessarily grind as much. And as I mentioned earlier a few moments ago, it, 
all this is just depending on how you use your resources between silver, chickens, gold, I mean not gold, silver chickens, brews, champs available. Uh, me personally, I'm using a hybrid. I will grind um, a little bit here, a little bit here, and a little bit here. So everything gets spaced out and everything gets uh, I'm at a pace that I don't necessarily run, run through all of it fairly easily but it does take time which is also a resource so me personally I like to spread it out and, and, and I guess pace myself if I try to grind uh, I, I summon 30 new champs a day 30 new green a day uh, I try to do that every day and then I spend the time to grind those up at the end of the week if I focus on those numbers then I will have um, a rank six. Kale, 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 come on down, Kale. Your food. Unlock yourself. Yum, yum, yum. No, don't eat me. Yep. Nom, nom, nom. You too. Kale's hungry. Nom, nom, nom. Yeah, buddy. There you go, guys. I got uh, rank five. We'll close this out one more uh, just demonstration on my higher account, put everything together. Alright, so as we continue back here on my Sir D Man Doom, the higher account, uh, just closing up the thoughts, and I just wanted to clarify that for experience only to grind a level 1 champ rank 1 from level 1 to max 10 you're gonna require 11 champs to eat or you can use one brew to get halfway it's like level 8 or 9 and then three champs to eat that'll get them to max 10 you still need one more champ so in uh, that would be 12 champs total or four champs if you use mix it with the brew be one more champ to rank that one, level 10 up to rank 2 level 1. At rank 2 level 1, and I sampled this with the greens, if you eat 24 level 1 rank 2s, you can get max 20. Or if you eat uh, drink 2 brews and then eat 13 level 1 rank 2s, you'll get rank, uh, max 20. Again, you need two more champs after that to rank that up. So that 24 plus the two, plus the one that you're actually ranking up would require just to get to the uh, max 20, you're gonna require 24 plus 11 plus the one plus the two more for the food. So that's well over 30. And just remember those numbers as I'm going to show my future, my actual um, blending hybrid. So what I do is I don't eat any champs whatsoever at any rank for experience only. I do the half the rank for with brews. So you use a brews, get the half the rank, grind the rest of the experience in the campaign, and then only eat the champs that you're needed to rank up from the max to the next level, whatever rank you're at. Again, any of these numbers are null and void if you fill in a champ that's already at that rank from either a blue or a purple spawn, or if you use a chicken of these ranks to supplant the uh, rank champs anyways. So there's a picture that I'm here I'm fixing to show, and I'll explain that pic. All right, so to explain the pictogram that I'm referring to, I made this for myself a long time ago because I am very detail-oriented. So the whites indicate commons, greens indicate uh, uncommons, blues indicate rare, purples indicate epics, and gold indicate the uh, legendaries. And this was made way before uh, Mythics ever came around. And again, this is about a year ago, and I made this for self-reference. But I figured I'd share it with you guys, so you can understand my thought process and the numbers that I use for my farming process. So, to start with the whites, and this is considering everything starts off at number ones. The reason why I use the colors, because if you insert any of those uh, quality champs in any one of those slots, then you don't have to worry about anything needed to get to that same rank so if i wanted to rank up a, a common to rank six this is what it would take 
so obviously it's not going to take all these for if you're starting off at an epic uh, rank and you're trying to rank it up and you want to eat other epics then you're pretty much saving yourself everything that took to get to the uh, rank 5 so to start off again with the white uh, if you're starting off with a rank 1 the star at the top above the line is what's being upgraded and below that is what it needs to eat so below that is what it needs total of that rank quality or that rank to get it so again the asterisk star symbol that I drew uh, that's the one rank up and then the below that the X the single X is what's being eaten so one asterisk or one rank one ranking up would re eat a rank one so ultimately you need two rank ones to make one rank one max and then when you make that max and he ranks up then you'll have an, a rank two uh, which is the green color uh, can be replaced by an uncommon so with the rank twos you need to upgrade the one rank two asterisk you need two more rank twos to the two X's therefore you need three rank twos total which means you need two rank uh, you, uh, so the three rank twos times two each so it took two of the rank ones to get to the rank twos that's what the x3 and x2 means so in order to rank up one rank two you need six rank ones and you need three rank twos if that makes sense and then to uh, once you rank up the one of those rank twos now you have a rank three so that's the blue so in order to get the three um, rank threes I mean to, to rank up a rank three you need three other rank threes so that's the three X's below and in order to get the three X's um, the three rank threes you need four of those total one to rank up three to eat which means to get those four total you need um, the four total times the three uh, rank twos times the two rank twos uh, rank ones for each of those so in total you need four rank twos which requires 12 rank no I'm sorry you need four rank threes which require 12 rank twos which then would require 24 rank ones again you can do all the math and double check for yourself if this makes any sense to you but then uh, so when you rank up one of those rank threes now you have a rank four which would be in the purple so starting off with the rank four again you can replace it with a, a void or an epic and then you would re replace all these requirements getting to this point if you decide you find any food that's an epic quality uh, I wouldn't recommend it but this is what it would take to get to the same level uh, using food below that so to rank up one rank four to five you need four X's rank fours to get those you need five total rank fours that's the X5 one to rank up four of them to feed so in order to get to that five you previously needed four rank threes Pre to get to those you needed three rank fours to get to those you needed two rank ones uh, three rank twos four no I made a mistake threes. there but yeah I think you get the idea. I don't know if I said that right, but uh, does that make sense to you? So in all, to rank up one, rank four to um, to level uh, rank five, to rank up one rank four, you would need five total rank fours, and to get those you need twenty total rank threes. To get to those you need sixty total rank twos, and to get to those you need hundred and twenty total rank ones just to get that one rank four up to five so then we're now at the max at gold to get the rank five who's uh, once he's get to max to feed him you need the one to rank up plus five rank fives the five different X's so in order to rank up one rank five you need six total rank fives and to, in order to get that you need five of those rank fours that I mentioned and then you need four rank threes and then you need three rank twos and then you need two uh, times two rank ones so in all in all you need six rank fives again one to uh, rank up you need five to feed them and then you to get those six you need 30 rank fours 
to get those 30 you need 120 rank 3's to get to those 120 you need 360 rank 2's to get to those rank 2's you need 720 rank 1's now anywhere along the process you can squeeze in uh, if in at this rank if you're ranking up that 6 if you squeeze in say four of those rank 3's instead of the 120 now that make cancels out uh, if you go look at the what it required for each rank 3 4 rank 3's 12 rank 2's and 24 rank 1's cancel out that out for each one of those 4 rank 3's at uh, to rank up so if that makes any sense any of the food that required to get to that rank if you replace that rank with an actual quality uh, level 1 rare or a level 1 epic etc even the level 1 uh, uncommons will make you will cut off some of those numbers but again if you just using only rank 1's from the very bottom all the way up to the top it would take you 720 rank 1's 360 rank 2's 120 rank 3's 30 rank 4's and 6 rank 5's just to get a rank 5 max to uh, rank 6 so now I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. I've got eleven rank fours. Rank four so at level one. If I divide that by four, I can get two of those. I, I shouldn't need. I, I don't have enough to push. If I had one more. I'd have to go through and double check and, and the way I double check to make sure is if I can use any of these for my faction wars and I don't know specifically each of those faction wars um, if I can make one more I was thinking to see if I can make it work that was my my hesitation then I would have 12 and then I would get three rank fours leveled up but I don't that's fine. So we'll just go ahead and eat these real quick. Oh, I need one more. I was like, well, I can't do it yet. It's not going to be enough. All this work, and I'll show you what you actually get at the end. All that effort I put forward. And I'll barely have maybe two food for the rank fives. So I won't have enough for it today. But you'll see the grind, that's what it takes just to get at least half. Initially I was hoping I'd have enough food, I was gonna rank up another rank five. Oh I already looked at I wasn't able to. Where are the level fours? Did I eat them already? Wow. Only did two. Oh, that's what I calculated. <laughs> I funny. did tell you I was only gonna do two. Duh. So if I go and select Yarkal Yarkal. I can eat chicken, one, two, the rest of these I don't want to eat. Uh, yeah, I don't want to eat. So I need two more rank twos, or rank fours, fives. Blah. And then I'll be able to push the call. But I don't have enough for the number right now. Or any of these others. I mean, I could make a case for Vizix. I can make a case for Demitha. I can make a case for uh, Cold Heart. I mean, I can make a case for a lot of these. Um, and that hits it's to gore pain. so i mean i could make a case for any one of them and i still can't i still can't level rank any of them up but it took all that just to get half of one rank five so you can see what it takes just to grind enough food for many champs to get all these champs took a lot of food after i've grinded all of those i've got a lot of those that are short of max at each level at each rank and I think you guys all saw that uh, along the way so how I get those the rest of the way is I come here to campaign this is the last of the grind I showed it brief you guys all know the earlier. campaign map if you're able to reach brimstone at any level and I am at brutal I have not necessarily I've pushed nightmare to Tilshire and I haven't gone very far in Tilshire uh, soon uh, on my high account I might try to push the rest away I probably have the champs for it I just haven't taken the time and, and the effort to put it together um, but on brutal uh, I am in brimstone if you can't do brimstone brutal then do brims 
brimstone hard. And if you can't do brimstone hard, then do brimstone normal. Even if you're halfway in the map, like I'm not farming anywhere on the map on Nightmare, I'm just farming brimstone brutal. Because as far as I can tell, and what I've seen other people mention, brimstone is the best mix for the most experience and the most silver that you can get from grinding. Now if you want silver, if you're simply trying to grind for silver, make sure you bring along your champs with you that you want leveled up. Just so get got experience. Um, Capital cut out of here and I'm gonna grab a few food. So notice I've already got these guys at 14. So I will throw him and him and they are just food. They're for the meat grinder. This is what I call the meat grinder. Uh, so I'll demonstrate just by showing one and my Rhonda will pretty much rip right through this. I mentioned before when you get to the end of the match if you've got somebody like Rhonda nope she used a lockdown so oh I'm not it boss. it's not boss level never mind that I'll show that here so you get what I was just about to say because <laughs> I wasn't gonna say anything so um in that one battle uh so 14 went to 16 um I think I only pushed one there but you keep going and eventually you get these two at max 20 and she might not even be 30 by then um, but that's just if you're manually grinding it which you're not I just wanted to demonstrate one battle uh, so eventually when they get to 20 and then they swap out she eventually gets 30 and they will swap out this is what the multi battle and if anybody's not necessarily familiar how to play with the multi battle I come in here and you want to make sure if she loses a battle, which it very rarely one out of maybe 10, I'd honestly say it's probably one out of 20 battles. Ronda might have a bad luck. And, and especially if it's on auto and I'm not watching it and I'm not telling her to actually focus, on, especially with the boss, if I'm not telling her to focus on the boss, every now and then, very rarely, but every now and then she'll, she will lose the battle. Uh, you want the battle to keep going, especially if you know most likely she'll win but every now and then she might get unlucky and lose one just let her keep going she'll still get experience from the battle you just won't get any rewards so when you lose a battle you still gain experience you just don't gain rewards basically one loss here so and there. you know for That'd most like cool. most of the, of the battles you're gonna win but and you're not worried about losing one here or there click that make sure you continue even if you lost the battle if you're worried about losing a battle and you lose that one and this is off then it will stop your multiple battles You've got 120 multi battles going and you lose one on battle 20 it will stop and you won't continue so if you're worried about losing the battle uh, then that's up to you I guess but if me personally if I lose one but the rest of them she wins that it's fine with me I don't necessarily continue multi battle when all champs hit max level I've said it before uh, any champs at max level in the campaign they're just wasting their experience so no need to push the champs at max level that's for dungeons uh, further than they need to i do have ronda at max ron is the leader and you want her at least one at max if they're short of max but they're able to grind and they're going to survive fine put them in uh put that short of max in the lead and let them actually get they'll gain experience with the rest of them uh i've said it before the experience is divided equally among who's in the battle so right now it's a four-way split ronda experience any experience goes to Rhonda is wasted the rest of these three will get the uh, the mutual of four even though she's not getting hers of four that they each get so whatever that experience gets them uh, for a two star the experience, the experience only goes so is far divided for a three star the experience doesn't go as far if you got a four or five star the experience is a lot less uh, always make sure you've got and it's uh, I'm not going back to the tavern at the moment but in the tavern make sure you got the experience banner if you've got experience banners make sure you got those selected so that way you're getting double the experience if you're willing to pay extra and you put a little bit forward for the silver card I pay nine dollars I think a month and I get the silver card on my main account and that gives me double experience on top of the experience banner so all my champs grind a little bit faster because I'm willing to pay the extra for that silver card the silver card will get you added multiples I haven't touched any of my multiples today. This is my fresh batch of multiples. 
um, I get 120 every day. Normally everybody gets, I think, 30 or 40. I get an extra 70. So 70 plus the 30 or 40, um, whatever the math comes out. I get 120 every day. Um, so with that said, I think everybody gets 50 a day. And then my 70 gets me to 120 a day. Uh, that that do right? Yeah, that sounds right. So with that said, I'll go in, I'll set up. 20 I'm gonna just do 20 right now a lot of times I'll, I'll decide whatever my priorities are I try to pace myself to 120 in a day and if I wanted to I could go through I got extra multiples in my inbox I try to check my inbox every day make sure that you uh, use those multiples and the energy before they expire but for now um, so this is grinding I, I think I demonstrated just a little bit ago got him to the, almost the max so I'll start with him, and then I'll throw him, and then I'll throw... So I'm not touching any of these. This is where I've said before in the raid server, I would like to see the comments. If, if I mark a preference on any champ, I can't see those markings here. It would be nice to looking through and be like, oh yeah, this is a food, and this is not a food, and this is whatever, whatever. I can't see none of those markings. I just kind of got to go off of memory. So that's one reason why I like to do the hybrid where I push the champ part way with the bruise and then they only eat the champs when they rank up and then they grind the rest of the experience. So by pushing part way with the bruise, I now can see, well, this must be uh, food, food, food. Not necessarily food. Don't worry about what I'm doing with them later. I'm not doing anything as far as wasting the champ. I'm not eating the champ at all. Uh, all I'm doing is selecting these Anybody champs above to one. grind and gain experience. So you can see that um, for the most part at the moment, all I've got is two stars. That's why I've got um, all these selected. I go down to my... You can even grind from your vault. I don't usually do that. I leave them on the vault. Yeah, a lot of those could probably be useful, but in some ways I have them already positioned and stuff like that. Uh, a lot of these champs, I mean, if you got any comments, most of these in the reserve vault, with the little people head on them. They're in the reserve vault. They're just there as um, um, what are they dupes, and they are in the campaign guardians. That so is my faction guardian. For the most part, most of these that are in the campaign, I don't usually use. In the regular vault, I might use, and I might eventually make a case to pull these guys out. But I've already like the even the the silver watchers. I like the silver watchers, but I've got. Almost a full. I've got a full crew of Sylvan Watchers, with Orns and Cormax and and Kaimar or not Kaimar, but uh, Kilvin, Calvin. Uh, I've got so many Sylvans already that even that Cormac. I think that Cormac is just one. No, this is not a pair. The other Cormac is probably in the other vault. Possibly, maybe. I don't know. I don't know what Cormac's at. Um, so yeah. I just back to here so you just selecting here go through select all of them I'm not gonna grind all these I know I'm not gonna it's gonna only go through maybe a few of these the first few but I put the extra in just in case it'll go through six of them to me I, I don't want to do the math in my head I just want to make sure there's more than what's needed and then that way when it reaches the end or when each one gets maxed out they're gonna keep adding more to it if that makes any sense Half the time I don't make sense to myself, so <laughs> whatever, right? <laughs> so they'll run through uh, all the 20. And I'll go in fast mode. And hopefully mo most of that made sense to you guys. Again, sometimes I confuse myself. I probably should write up scripts, and I don't take the time to write up scripts. Because I end up going off script anyways. So just getting better at talking about the videos as they flow along. But, um... For the most part, setting it up, I don't. It, the reason why I do the hybrid in the beginning, midway, is so I gain a few. So each of the champs gain a few levels. That way, when I am farming and I am in this setup phase right here, and I want to complete the rest of it using, um, I want to complete the rest of it using experience, then. That's what this is for. I, I know which one to eat. So that's kind of what I'll, I was trying to explain there.
but the 20 battles here uh, the, where the champs were at when they first started at level 14 and then gone to uh, max 20 those it'll take I think it'll promote six of those champs in total and you're not gonna be able to follow along it's too fast you'll see at the end actually the report won't show up because I end up speeding through it too quickly the first round of 20 battles I, I end up closing that report by accident but you'll see it for a glance you'll see the report for a glance I just it doesn't stay up very long but again there's six champs there including corpula cadaver actually no there was the bone knight that uh, started off first and then corpula cadaver no actually corpula cadaver and then bone knight see it just changed over to bone knight right now it was one of the two So as it ends the battle, I'll go back to my normal talking. Alright, looks like we finished that battle. So I didn't talk about it much. So the 20 runs were done, and you saw how many, I should have showed you on the screen. <laughs> you saw how many of them reached their max. Bow Knight still didn't, but he's gotten closer. A few of the level 2s did. So you see how much takes a lot more experience the higher rank they are and um, yeah so that is mainly for so and the reason why is because you're gaining a lot of and I should have pointed it out and you could check back and rewind it a few moments prior when that report was showed up on the screen it showed how many battles I did how many champs got max and it would have showed down towards the Six bottom how much gear again. you got so all those gear you can end up likely selling um curing i used to think was just trash and curing um i've confirmed will actually affect any heal that your champ does whether the champ gets the heal from a set or the champ gets the heal from an ability whether the champ gets the heal from the masters Whatever the heal is, it's a 20% bonus. Now, I don't know if that 20% is stacked. If it's a 10% bonus, adds 20, so it makes a 30% bonus. Or if it's the 10%, whatever that comes out to, 20% of that is added to it. So, I'm not sure how they add that. But whatever that bonus heal is, will also heal and restore any destroyed HP. So, that can be very useful, especially in Arena. There's a lot of uh, Arena champions, like Lona Thrill, one of my favorite. Lona Thrill uh, has a destroy max HP strike on his A1. So uh, there's a lot of champs out there, and there's even sets that will destroy as well. So Kiering is the counter to that, and Kiering can be useful if added to the right champ. Now, I'm not going to put Kiering on every champ that has a heal. I'm going to put Kiering on a champ that regularly has a, a, a AoE heal. Uh, two examples I can immediately think of would be Aniri and Skylar Drake. I'm going to experiment with Kiering on those two. I've actually got close to a full set for Aniri, but I haven't found, I'm not satisfied with the set that I have yet, so I haven't actually put it on until I find the gear that I want. So far they're all blue. I think I'll get purple and orange once I go to night, uh, Nightmare. You can also farm them in the uh, Dragon, I believe. Um, Nightmare oh, no, the fire and, night. and grain, uh, brimstone and nightmare. Until then, uh, I'm going to be stuck with the blue that I have. But mainly all that to explain, you'll get uh, gear from level 3. The shields are the most valuable gear you'll get. Uh, you can grind the other stages if you want, but you're going to get the most silver by selling shields. Uh, I don't know why that is. I don't know if, uh, if Plarium did that intentionally, if there's a reason or strategy behind it. Of course they did uh, You would think the higher level or the higher stage, the more valuable the gear is. But apparently for Plarium, they made shields more valuable than the rest of the gear. So you get more money by selling shields than you are any of these others. To continue on, we're going to go show quickly... The experience is slightly different and a little bit better, um, higher experience when you're fighting the boss. So if you're specifically trying to rush a particular champ or multiple champs, more food, you want to get more food through the grinder faster, etc. 
uh, I would suggest going to the boss instead. And then same thing, you're going to come through here, look for anybody who's above one, and then just throw them in the grinder. Throw them in the meat grinder. And now I just got a bunch of twos. Uh, See how I changed that? I that'll be it. I was going to, I, I selected the one with oh, plus one, the, uh, sorting them out, took figuring them off. out who's doing what later on, so... If they're not higher than level one, then I leave them alone. Here we go. <laughs> so now I'm on the boss. You'll see me try to select the boss a few times. Uh, ideally, if you're able to monitor the battle and you select the boss, then you'll be able to kill the boss. Uh, if your champ is geared right, you'll be able to kill the boss in one hit, and that's what I do. If you could kill the boss and leave the minion standing, you'll leave him standing. The It'll end the fight with the minion standing. You don't have to kill the minions before you kill the boss. So, if you don't target the boss, like I was talking about, then it will likely automatically target, if you leave it just up to the AI, it will automatically target the weakest or the lowest hit point, I believe. That seems to be the pattern I've noticed. And that would be the two minions. So that's why Rhonda will often go for the two minions before the boss. And then she'll go for the boss. So if, uh, when she does that, the boss has more hits on her. And that's why sometimes with bad RNG, she'll likely, she'll possibly die. But again, if, even with that, a longer battle, she'll still win most of the time. But just rarely she'll get uh, defeated. So if I'm watching the screen, I always try to target the boss intentionally. Leave the minion standing, as I talked about. So as I continue on the battles, uh, about halfway through at the moment, um, for the most part, when they gain their experience, they get swapped out, they gain more experience. I'll show here in a moment um, what uh, the post-battle Again, you go in and uh, once they're maxed at 20 or 30 or whatever rank you're trying to grind up, then you have them eat the amount of champs. So it'll take uh, two champs at a rank 2, and then it'll take three champs at a rank 3, four champs at a rank 4, five champs at a rank 5. That's the uh, pictogram that I showed you earlier. And basically to get any of those champs to where they are, those are the numbers that I mentioned. And that way, that, that's why all those numbers get um, multiply and get astronomically huge. Uh, at the most, 720 if you start using all rank 1s all the way and grind them all the way up and then eat each other. And it's 720 rank 1s. So I ran out. That. Oh no, that's 20. But again, you replace them along the way. You don't have to this worry about This is what I was going to demonstrate last time. Oh, nine out of 40 battles now. As I mentioned, I six others gained max, inclu including so Corp Cadaver. 39 from the battles previous 12 and Bone Knight still battle run reached max 40. And those will end up in your right. inbox if through, your collection is full. Um, six total. Four, and then six no, total five, elsewhere. Six. Gone through six more, plus two more have gotten a few extra levels. So they start off at level 14. They got three more levels out of that. Plus six of them reach their max. And then I've gained all this down here. So these are where some of the champions, um, as I mentioned earlier, uh, if you grind enough in Brimstone, you're going to gain champions as reward. So I've got so many Incubus because this is where they come from. And then Diabolist as well. And then there's that rare shield. I think I might have accomplished something for my clan quests with that rare shield. By the way, it's going to start fading out. Uh, it's pretty much concluding the video. Thank you again for stopping by, sticking around, stopping in, sticking around. And uh, this is my raid farming and grinding guide. And with that, please like, subscribe, and follow me for more content. I'll continue releasing more videos in the future. Thanks again. Have a good day.
Jesus, for your mercy and grace upon my life. I pray all those who see this reach out to you one day. Thank you to the game developers of these games and more for the products you make. Keep up the good work. Last but certainly not least, thank you to all my fans, friends, and followers for stepping in, sticking around, and checking out these games with me. God bless.